All right, so I figured I've already shown you two genie screwdrivers today. Why not show you a third one? So today we're going to be giving you a little update on GX9000. Of course, this is my favorite opener, as you guys know. And uh, also is the opener I've had for the longest. Oh, hold up, I don't quite like how I have it sitting now. So, anyway, yes, so got an update on the GX9000. You can see I put the original case back on it. And that's so I could show you something new I got for it. Sorry for the background noise. If you look, something's a little different. It says Genie on the light cover. So, this is the original light cover to this opener, and we got a Genie sticker on it. Now, this sticker actually, uh, Luke made this for me. It looks really good, as you can tell. Um, and actually, the other day at work, I found this sitting in a pile of trash. This is a light lens. This is an actual Genie sticker. Um, you can see that the one on this, you know, it's pretty damn close to the real thing. Looks really good. I mean... If you don't look hard, you know, you just you would just think it's an actual genie sticker. Also looks pretty good with the lights on too. Uh, this light lens, uh, in the same box as this light lens, there was also a IntelliCode, the old style IntelliCode button that has the back cover that it snaps onto. I didn't take that button, but this light lens came off of some very early IntelliCode screwdriver. Don't know what, didn't see the motor head, so, and I didn't want to dig around for it. So, yeah, but uh, just figured I'd make you a little update video on this one, too, because it's been about a year since I pulled it out, and, I mean, it is my favorite opener. So, um, I've got this button hooked up. This is the original button to the other GX9000 lights not on because I hooked up the wires backwards. Oops. And over here, I have this GT90-1 programmed. Um, this one is from 2009, actually. So, there's that remote. Um, probably, it's definitely my favorite style of remote as well, are the GT90 remotes. So, and I mean, no, sound-wise, it's, it's fairly quiet. It's kind of the same deal that, you know, if I put some lube on the rail, it'd be a little quieter. Um, let's just go ahead and run this thing here, and we'll show you how it sounds. So, sounds pretty good, and you can see with the lights on, especially, that Genie sticker actually looks really, really good. So, yeah, and I'm still using these sensors, just because I already had them out here. I thought about, I was going to dig out the original style sensors, but I didn't feel like it. <laughs> so, yeah, and this rail, of course, is the three-piece rail, since this first section is permanently attached. I do still need to get bolts for here. I thought I had some, but I can't find them. So, either need to look harder or get new ones. <laughs> Let's run this down. Yeah, I will always love Clutch Genies. Great machines. So, yeah. Um, the other thing... So, I was right about the H6000A. Um, we gotta move some of this stuff here. Oh yeah, a couple new. Got a Craftsman keypad, 390, and a Craftsman button. One of these that is not extremely dirty. So, anyway. Um, let's see. So, I was right about the H6000A. It is the front bushing. If you look... You can see those shavings in there. So that front bushing is cooked. I need to, I'm gonna do what I said. I'm gonna swap the chassis with that parts genie I had. I might actually make a video of rebuilding this because, oops, <laughs> drop it. 
because I don't I haven't been able to find a video of rebuilding a genie screwdriver before so be some kind of interesting and I don't remember how much I know I have that parts genie stripped I just don't remember how much I stripped I know the motor is still in it but I don't know if I cut out all the wires and I'm gonna have to transfer all the wiring as well I don't remember so we'll find out tomorrow but I am gonna have to transfer absolutely everything also one of these terminals is stripped as well so hey anyway um, I guess we'll run the GX9000 one more time since you haven't seen it for so long but I can't run this one too much because it overheats pretty quick which I don't know why um, I think you can normally run a genie screwdriver maybe like five cycles or something before it overheats. This one, when, or at least when it was installed in my grandparents' doors, I could run it like two cycles and then it would overheat. Um, and of course that was partly, might have been because when I was little I used to run those so much. And I would overheat them all the time, so that could be why. Um, but we'll just run it twice today. So I'll step back and we'll run this again. Also, the other thing I realized, these limit switches are slightly different. This one is the original limit switch. Kind of see how that looks. And this one is a little bit different. Um, the screw's on the other side for this one, and it kind of would wiggle around some. I had to move it a little bit because there's a spot it was, the spot it was in was stripped. And it was twisted to the side, and it was causing the trolley to run into the stopper. So, I fixed that as well. Yeah. Gee, sticker looks awesome. Okay, run this down. I'm trying to not step on my things of clips and bolts, because I would be pretty ticked off if I dumped all those clips off. Dumped all those clips out, I should say. Alright, we'll run this down. And as usual, I didn't, I didn't run the limit switch wire again. No reason to. So there you go. That's the GX9000, which you haven't seen for quite a while. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you all later. Um, I, well, I'm going to do an opener swap tomorrow. We'll see if I get around to fixing that Genie tomorrow. If I do, I'll probably put it on the rail again and get a video of it actually working like it's supposed to. But anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you all later.